Pep, even the Swansea City fans were applauding your team off at the end there. What pleased you most about that performance tonight? Well, I'd... We played so good. Uh, we attacked good inside outside. We didn't concede not too much, not too many. And, um, and uh, of course, if the fans are happy, we are happy as well. It looks so fluid. How much energy, focus, concentration goes into that kind of performance from your players? Yeah, we spoke about that. So <laughs> the, the, today the game was in our mind because we are in the top, the play, the team on top of the league and the bottom of the league, and and uh, we knew that uh, if we do what we have to do, we have chance to win. But that's why everything was here because before, three days before, we were in Old Trafford, and three days later. Tottenham Hotspur will come to Etihad Stadium. That's why today in the middle of that game could be a little bit, uh, you know, tricky. And uh, we spoke about that and the players again. Uh, my staff, my colleague told me that uh, they made an amazing warm-up. And that is, it was a good signal to see we were ready to, to play the game and win the game. David Silva, another couple of goals tonight. Is that the next step for him to add to that goal tally? Ah, that's, that's good. We needed that. We needed that. So David has the mentality, the competitor, and uh, like a football player, and I discuss if we are able to add this kind of feeling to score goals, the feeling and enjoy and help the team scoring goals, it's so important, not just the strikers. So this season, wingers, attacking midfielders, central defenders, set pieces, we are scoring goals for many, many different ways in uh, when the, the team are deep, when the counter-attack, and that's why we have many, many alternatives to, to, to score goals. Your attacking play will get the headlines, but how important was it to, to keep a clean sheet no, tonight? Not. Yeah, the last games we could not uh, have the clean sheets, and today again is so important. Ederson make two or three amazing saves again, but especially the how many chances we had to, to, to win the game. So uh, we, we are delighted, we are happy for, for the performance. It's not easy after three days. Well, Trafford, what happened, uh, because it's demanding physically and mentally, come here and, and play the way we played. Difficult was that to watch? How difficult was that to take tonight? Yeah, it was really tough to, uh, to watch at times. I mean, I think if you're a, you know, a player or a member of staff or a fan of Manchester City, it must be a joy to watch that team play. But you know, we were on the, the wrong end of a really dominant performance by them. Um, they totally deserve the victory. I was worried at times that the scoreline could have run higher. Although we did have a couple of opportunities ourselves, you know, it was a very good display from them, and I have to say, one of the best sides I've ever come across. I, I was going to say, I mean, that's, that's high praise indeed. You come across a, a lot of teams. Is that how good they are right now? Yeah, they're obviously a team full of confidence, um, racked up a massive amount of wins, big gap at the top of the table. Play some fantastic football. Got great technicians and athletes all over the pitch. Play the game really, really intelligently, and um, I can't see it being anyone else but them being champions this season. In terms of yourselves, you, you put Tammy Abraham, Abraham on start of the second half. You went two up top, so you kind of went for it to try and get back into the game. Well, yeah, I mean, when you're two 0 down, you, know, you want to try and do something positive. But it was more to try and get a little bit of pressure higher up the pitch. I mean, they get you in that position where you. If you, if you sit off them, they're just dominating the ball and playing around you. Um, if you go a little bit higher, you know, you're worried about what might go on behind because they've got some pacey players up front. So, you know, they cause you a lot of problems. It was a, it was a difficult evening. But they're not the games that will define our season. We, we have to do a lot better with teams in and around us, you know, teams up to in position 10, 9 and 8, etc. Um, we've got a important couple of games coming up, Everton are, Everton away, we've got to do our best to get something there in a very important game on the 23rd against Crystal Palace here at home. I was going to say, what do you do now to make sure that that just disappears out of their minds now very quickly so you can focus on the next one? You know, go back to what we did against West Brom, real fighting spirit, got the three points. Um, always going to be a difficult game tonight. Would have liked to have run it closer, but you know they're a, they're a fantastic side and made it very difficult for us. But yeah, absolutely focus on games that are realistically winnable for us. Focus on those, do our best in those games.